Hello everyone and welcome to another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to do mods with Arc Server Manager. Uh, it's pretty easy to do but when I first started doing this I ran into some issues and I wanted to go over that with you in case you run into the same issues and I wanted to show you what to do to fix those issues. The first thing you want to do before you load up Arc Server Manager is to log into Steam. Log in to Steam first, and I'll explain why in a moment. Once you log in, load up Arc Server Manager. Now, before you go into the Mods section under Administration, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the top right corner, and you want to click on Open Global Settings. You want to make sure the Output Steam CMD is not checked this right here. Make sure there is no check there. If there is a check there, uncheck it. And then go ahead and close that window. Uh, if you don't and you leave that checked, you're going to run into errors. Like I did. Now that that's done, you want to go to the Mod ID section here and you want to click on that little, little magnifying glass. Okay, and you're going to bring up this screen and then you want to click on the little green plus symbol. And it's going to take a moment, but it's going to load up all the mods from Steam. Now, when I first did this, I got an error. It said something about um, not being able to connect to Steam. Um, what I understand is there's too many requests to Steam at the time. So you just have to keep trying and eventually this will load up. At least that's what happened with me. Another fix is to set your own web API key. And you do this by going into the settings again and clicking on this little button that says Get Web API Key. I didn't have to do that, but some people suggested getting this key so that you, don't, you can avoid that error. I will put in the description below how this works. Um, but again, I never had to do that. So if you, if you need to do that, I'll put the, the uh, instructions in the description. Anyway, uh, these are the mods for Arc that I got that came from Steam. You can see there's over 4,000 of them. If you're not sure what these mods do and you're interested in one, it's real easy. All you have to do is click on the number and it will take you to Steam. For instance, Dinosaur Artillery. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds cool. What is it? Well, if you click on the number, it's going to go right to Steam. And it's going to go right to that mod and it's going to explain to you what that mod is. Alright. So that's what that mod is. So all you do is close that screen. And if you want to add the mod, just click on the little green plus symbol right there. And it adds the mod. Uh, all dinos allow guns. Eh, we'll do that too. Okay, so now that you have the mods that you want, go ahead and close the screen. And you'll see the mods listed here. Some mods require that they are first in the list. So if this mod needs to be first in the list, all you do is click on this little arrow and it moves it up. That's it. And, all you, and when you're done, all you have to do is hit the little save, the profile. Okay, so this has not been downloaded, but we'll go over that in a moment. Hit yes. And go ahead and close that screen. You can see the mods here that have been added. Now, before you start your server, you want to click on this little upgrade to the latest version of the mods. Okay, so go ahead and click on that and it'll download those mods. And before, this is where I got an error before the, I unchecked that little CMD thing. So if you have not unchecked that, you're going to get an error right here. And you should see finish upgrade progress and you won't see any errors so we're good to go go ahead and close that see my mods are here now I before you start your server I would recommend you save your profile and then hit start hit yes that's it guys it's as easy as that now your server is going to start up I'm going to let it go uh, once your server is up, log into your game and make sure you can see the mods.
but before you log in, make sure you subscribe to those mods. Everybody who joins your server needs to subscribe to that mod or it's not going to work. And how do you do that? Well, let's go back to our mod listing. And you want to click on the mod ID number. And you want to hit that little subscribe. And once you do, you're now subscribed to that mod and it should be added to your profile. Okay. So I'm going to hit it real quick just to show you. Now it says I'm subscribed. That's it. But you need to do that to each mod. I found out that I was subscribed, but my friends weren't and they weren't seeing the uh, mods and they were getting errors. Uh, especially if it's especially if it's a graphic mod, um, your friends will see missing textures and maybe errors, and it may even crash. So you want to make sure everybody is subscribed to the mods that you have on your server. And that's it, guys. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions about this or any errors, you know, please feel free to leave it a comment, and I will try my best to help you out. But this is this worked for me um, and like I said if you experience errors I did just make sure you go under your settings and like I said the first thing you want to do is make sure this is not checked all right so I hope this helped you out guys happy gaming